Hello, my name is Eric Engelstad and I'm a product trainer for DocuSign University. Welcome to this quick tutorial during which you're going to learn how to use the in-person signer recipient type in DocuSign eSignature. In the next few minutes, you'll learn when and how to make use of this great feature. In this scenario, I'm with a client in my office and I would like to sign a sales contract with them then and there. I can easily do so electronically by selecting the in-person signer recipient type next to the client's name. This tells DocuSign that the client will be signing directly in front of me rather than remotely. Once I've selected the in-person signer, I am prompted to enter a host. This could be myself or anyone with a valid DocuSign account. I will enter my own details as I will be acting as the host. So instead of sending an email, I will be guiding the client through the signing process on my own device. I will also add myself as a recipient with the need to sign type. On the document, I will simply place the fields both for the client and myself at the bottom of the contract. And then I click on send. As in this scenario, I am the host. I could choose to start the signing session directly after having clicked on send. Otherwise, hosts will receive an email advising them that they are the host for an in-person signing session, as I will show you now. It is worth noting that if there are multiple in-person signers at the same routing order, the host can start the session from within their account and choose which recipient to initiate. Now let's look at the email. So after clicking on Review Document, the host is asked to pass control of the session to the client, meaning handing over the laptop or tablet or any other device on which the client will then have the chance to sign directly on the host screen. After signing the contract, the client can enter his email address in order to receive a copy of the completed document. The client will then be asked to pass control back to the host, who in this case means myself as the second signer as well. I will go ahead and sign. Both parties will now receive a copy of the signed document. The host identity is recorded on the envelope details and the certificate of completion. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Happy signing, everyone.